health coalitions from across Canada, people from across Ontario are gathering today in Niagara-on-the-Lake. All of the premiers from across the country are meeting just down the road here. This is the last Council of the Federation meeting before the National Health Accord expires. And with that expiration will be the end of the funding agreement between the federal and the provincial governments for Medicare. Canadians are concerned about the lack of federal leadership. Basically, the Prime Minister of the country has announced a plan to dismantle National Medicare. He's going to cut the transfers. He's saying that there's no role for the federal government. Uh, he's walking away from home care, from pharma care. Uh, and we know Canadians have health care as their top priority. So we're here today to ask the Premiers to stand up for Medicare, and we're asking them to stand up to Harper's. I can't say that it's a, a pleasure to be here. It's not a pleasure to be fighting for Medicare. This is a right of every Canadian. And this is the kind of thing we have to turn out. And that's not just in Ontario. Every hospital is under threat of closure. It's, it's a disgrace to the heritage of this country. I want to send a message to the Premier of that we will not, will not tolerate their, health, their cuts for health care. They really would like the provinces to take care of it, and they'd like to get out of it. Personally, we're here today to fight back for a health care system. We don't want to privatize it. We want it to stay as it is. And I'm here because I think Stephen Harper has had public health care in his sight since the very day he decided to go into politics. What it's doing is basically removing the federal government as a funding partner, which will lead to the end of national Medicare, the end of national standards. It will lead to a patchwork of, of, of services and privatization. And this is a stealthy attempt to remove the federal responsibility from healthcare in this country and dismantle the public healthcare system, and that can't happen. And we need to make healthcare an issue just like the economy is, because it's going to affect people's lives in their in everyday workers' lives. It's already affecting uh, patients, actually. Uh, waiting times in the ERs, uh, medical beds, there's not enough medical beds for the patients, and if the health accord isn't signed, it's only going to get worse. Very concerned that the Harper Conservative government is abandoning its responsibilities to a national fu publicly funded health care system. And if he doesn't show at the premiers and territorial leaders conferences, it's a further indication that he doesn't believe that we need a universal system. We're very upset by that and this is probably the outcome for us if we don't get him to the table. This is just a start. We feel very strongly that the accord that's being negotiated now that's to be signed in 2014 must be protected, it must be extended, it must be expanded to include a pharmacare and we must fight for it. Every generation has to fight for public health care. Our generation is no different. And we as Canadians support the Medicare system. One system with one payer where everybody gets access to a health care system regardless of your income, regardless of your background. As Tommy Douglas has said, Medicare is worth fighting for. To every single Canadian, it actually is the one social program that unites us as a country. Don't let them take it away, my friends. Stand up for Medicare. Yeah.